welcome back to my channel my name is ellie if you're new here and today i'm going to be showing you guys how i like to make my stovetop potpourris for the fall this is one that a lot of people do this is the traditional william sonoma smell it's lemon rosemary and a splash of vanilla i honestly just winged it with this i don't ever do anything exact it's just something to make your house smell really good without having to burn any candles so I just did one lemon, a couple sprigs of rosemary that I picked up from Trader Joe's, and then a splash of vanilla extract. I didn't even measure, <laughs> honestly. I just squirted a little bit in there and called it good. And then you are gonna fill the pot with some water. And you just wanna make sure everything in the pot is covered with water. I didn't really, you know, do anything specific. I just eyeballed it. And then you are going to stick this on your stove and let it simmer until you are, you know, I think until the water pretty much evaporates. I think mine got really low and then I just added some more water and it honestly smells so amazing and your house literally smells like William Sonoma. So here's the next one. This is one that smells more Christmassy, more fallish. I think cinnamon, apples, oranges, clove, nutmeg is what's pretty much in this one. You can also add cranberries, but I don't think those were in season and that's why I couldn't find them. And so I just cut up a whole orange and then I ended up cutting up an apple. And honestly, this apple that I had in our fridge that you can see on the table was going bad. And I think that's like the perfect, perfect reason to do a stove top potpourri is when maybe something is going bad. You can just use that up in a certain way and you don't really have to eat the bad apple. <laughs> And so you're just gonna throw everything into the pot and I kind of eyeballed it again. I didn't really do anything specific. And then you can add your cinnamon sticks. I picked these up at the store. I think I ended up just doing a couple cinnamon sticks just because these are a little bit pricey and I didn't wanna like waste the whole thing. So I was like, you know what, that's good. And then I picked up some whole cloves. These smell so good, especially with orange. They smell amazing. And then the last spice you're going to use is nutmeg. And I just, I didn't have the actual nutmeg rocks, so I used just uh, nutmeg seasoning that I had and sprinkled that in. And I feel like that did the job. And then, of course, you're going to cover the rest of that with water, making sure everything is completely submerged. 